What's going on, everyone? I am Josh with 625 Media, and it is that time of week. It's Workout Wednesday. We've done a few of these now, and I don't know about you, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit stronger, a little bit better at all of this with the auditions and with us doing this each week. I can definitely tell a difference in how I approach even this kind of thing that is I'm improving. There's no notes here. I'm that good. No, I'm not that good. But the practice is helping. And with the holiday season coming up, believe it or not, it's right around the corner. Those of us who have this type of side hustle, we're going to be looking for a few extra gigs. And some of those gigs are probably going to be seasonal in theme. So why not practice some seasonal scripts? Huh? Yeah? Okay, let's do it. That was cheap. Easy, but I'm going to get the scripts loaded and away we go. So, yes, now that I've scared you about, oh, Christmas, how am I going to afford Christmas? Well, I've got an idea. Voiceover, and part of that is going to be probably reading a few holiday inspired scripts. So, we've got some sample holiday voiceover scripts here. Uh, that we're going to take a look at. So when the holidays, we think of family, we think of warmth, whatever holiday it is that you celebrate, I don't care what it is, it's usually with family. So there's some warmth, there's some love, there's some cheer. Um, it's a time to celebrate whatever it is that you celebrate. Uh, so we're going to we come into that knowing that we may have a certain tone that we're going to carry, which makes this a little bit easier to get through. Um, but it's definitely still worth it to practice that. I'm not I'm not a warm, fuzzy kind of reader all the time. So if I'm going to be doing this for the holidays, I definitely want to pay attention here. So we have a, sec, a 20 second holiday uh, voiceover for a company called Celestial Celestial Watches. Uh, the voice age is middle middle aged, uh, gender male female. So yes, I qualify. Um, job description: We surveyed people from coast to coast on what mattered most during the holiday season. The result is a feel good message that showcases audience generated content alongside a holiday message from Celestial Watches. The full commercial will be close closer to a minute long, but the voice is only twenty seconds. So you're voicing around other content, which they'll have some direction there. Uh, art direction, a warm, friendly, authentic re read is preferred. Think of that friend you haven't seen in a long time that you finally got to go, go to go for coffee with during the holiday season, even though you're both so busy. The feeling of making time for special people in your life can be reflected in your voice. Note, the text in italics is not to be read by the voice actor. It denotes the video clips being inserted from our interviews. So it's going to have what we're saying. But then we're going to see what else is being said. So we can at least read along there, get an idea of the feeling that everybody is putting forward in this user-generated content, which I think is really cool. All right, so language is English, style, warm, friendly, authentic. All right, um, accent, U.S. Mid-Atlantic. So I'm not necessarily a Mid-Atlanticer. I'm a Midwestern. I like to talk like this. Um, no, not really. <laughs> um, but it's only 52 words, so we'll do our we will do our best with with the voice. Okay, it's a short one. Here we go. Authentic, warm, friendly. We asked kids, teens, parents, and grandparents from all over America to tell us what comes to mind when they think of this time of year. Okay, so here's the italicized part. A video recording of faces' voices from the survey participants playing. Watching old family videos, senior. Telling stories around the dinner table, adult. Playing in the snow, that's a kid. Playing in the snow! Uh, <laughs> decorating the tree, that's a teen. Um, family portraits, young adult. No one being lonely, a child. Spending time with those we love most. Senior. Okay, so you get an idea of what's playing in between your voice here. So now it's our turn again. Time. 
It's what matters most this holiday season. Wishing you a happy holiday filled with a time... (laughs) I can't even read 20 seconds. Time. It's what matters most this holiday season. Wishing you a happy holiday filled with time well spent. From your friends at Celestial Watches, make every moment count. If I had to assess myself, eh, you know, I stumbled over three lines that were that are barely even difficult. So if I really if I listen to that back, I'm tearing that apart. Now I thought the tone was good. Um but I think that I was getting a little quick with my delivery and that's what that's why I was stumbling so for whatever reason this this second to last line wishing you a happy holiday filled with time well spent it's like I got through there and about halfway through that line I decided I wanted to read it as fast as I could and it was just too much for my voice to handle so we're going to try that again because it's a very short one I won't read the italicized part this time and let's see if we can get a little bit better delivery come on Come on, your kids want hoverboards and iPhones. Do this. We asked kids, parents. We asked kids, teens, parents, and grandparents from all over America to tell us what comes to mind when they think of this time of year. I can already tell you, I I don't like that. We asked kids, teens, parents, and grandparents from all over America to tell us what comes to mind when they think of, when they think of the think of think of. I'd be remiss if I didn't point out the extra fancy second camera. That's just an iPhone. We asked kids, teens, parents, and grandparents from all over America to tell us what comes to mind when they think of this time of year. Time. Time for me to stop hitting my mouse. Time. It's what matters most this holiday season. Wishing you a happy holiday filled with the time well... I keep putting the word the in there. Time. It's what matters most this holiday season. Wishing you a happy holiday filled with time well spent. From your friends at Celestial Watches, make every moment count. Make every moment count. Mm. From your friends at Celestial Watches, make every moment count. Make every moment count. Make every moment count. Make it count. Make it count. All right, so let's jump into the second one, and we'll talk about these here in a little bit. But So the second one is a 45-second holiday season voiceover script example, Skills for Life, spelled with a Z and a Y, Kits for Kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the client is Skills for Life, Kits for Kids. The voice is middle-aged, gender, male, female. I am those things. Uh, the job description, um... A single narrator to provide voiceover for a holiday TV campaign targeting parents of young kids to make them aware of a new product and potential gift for the holiday season. So we're pitching things to parents. We are looking for a single voice actor to provide narration of this funny and cheeky ad that falls a tad on the bold side. Okay. Um, The best candidate for this voiceover job is someone who is able to sound smart, funny, uncool, but also endearing at the same time. Serious tone is preferred, even though it's a funny concept. We prefer humor to be delivered with a drier read. Note, try to make the Z in skills for life sound prominent and uncool in a funny way. Oh, I'm going to love this. So I read that and I laughed for the reason that they did it and the reason they want me to laugh. Okay, I'm with you. All right, so this is more of a think SNL skit. Think SNL commercial skit. This is what this is. Um, It's a calming, deadpan kind of style. So, you know, the narrator is taking it very seriously, 
but almost overly serious for what it is. All right, so here's... So in this one, it's actually got... It's setting the scene for me here. So set scene. A couple of sets of parents sharing empathetic looks as, as their kids run and scream through the toy aisles at, of blinking lights, moving parts, sound effects, and batteries not included signs everywhere. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do this. This holiday season, remember that... <laughs> This holiday season, remember they love this time of year because you love it too. And you love it because you might make them happy. This year, make them happy and more useful. I already don't like that. So, deadpan, yes. Calming, no. It's more... Uh, it's more fear mongering than anything <laughs> like it's a propaganda video so let's try this again this holiday season remember they love this time of year because you love it too and you love it because you get to make them happy this year make them happy and more useful these aren't your run-of-the-mill crafts kids with googly eyes and sparkles these kids These aren't your run-of-the-mill crafts, kids. These aren't your run-of-the-mill craft kits with googly eyes and sparkles. These kits make learning to sew a button, fixing a toilet flusher, and making macaroni salad into activities they'll actually want to do. Life skills are cooler than the newest video game. Make learning fun. Make kids useful. Give them the gift that gives back. Give them a skills for life kit. Give them a skills for life kit. A skills for life kit. All right, so we got through the whole thing. Ah, that's one that you really want to read a few times and make sure that you, you know, it's what what you would envision and then go back for notes because I don't know that that's calming i'm more it's really forceful let's try this again this holiday season remember that they love this time of year because you love it too and you love it because you get to make them happy this year make them happy and more useful these aren't your run-of-the-mill craft kits with googly eyes and sparkles these kits make learning to sew a button fixing a toilet flusher and making macaroni salad into activities they'll actually want to do. Life skills are cooler than the newest video game. Make learning fun. Make kids useful. Give them the gift that gives back. Give them a skills for life kit. Yeah, okay. Okay. Again, I think it's one that you're going to want to read over and over again, especially the skills for life part. They really want you to emphasize that Z. So skills for life. Like, do you really want to make that a very hard Z, cut it off? And it's even like they've got it in parentheses here, skills for life. So it's a funny concept. I would love to work on a project like that. <laughs> but let's move on. We got one more. Uh, one minute animated holiday season voiceover script. Uh, winter approach. Winter's approach. Bird seed. Okay. So this job is for an animated cartoon TV commercial, which is slated to air around Thanksgiving. Uh, the commercial features a family of blue jays sharing a Thanksgiving feast when one of the baby birds learns about the true meaning of Thanksgiving. The ideal candidate for this job will provide us two or three interpretations of each character within the script. Okay. So, single voice actor voices the mother bird, father bird, sibling birds. So, this one's going to be difficult. I'm doing voices for all of them. Um, tone specified in square brackets. A few words in italics to recommend emphasis on those words. Please provide at least one read with those words emphasized. All right. Differentiate the voices in what, whatever way you see fit while still adhering to the tone specified in the square brackets. All right. One minute. Let's see if we can do it. 
So set scene. Family of birds celebrate Thanksgiving in their homes inside a hole in a tree growing in the backyard of a human family's home. So Papa Bird, sounding full and satisfied. Here we go. Oh, that was a beautiful dried berry and sea feast, Mama Bird. Just one sunflower seed left. Who wants it? Announcer. <laughs> Younger sibling bird. Silly and childlike. I want it. I do. Other sibling bird. Full of attitude, grab, crabby and snarky. No, I want... Nah. No, I want it. I hatched before you, so I get to have the last seed. Mm. Give it to me. Give it to me. Me. This is fun. Mama bird, calming and lovely. Kids, we need to love each other and share our goodies every day. But especially today, it's Thanksgiving. The day of giving, caring, and sharing. Older sibling bird, brooding with attitude. I don't care. And I don't want to share. <laughs> Older sibling bird. Okay, older. <laughs> I thought that was still the voice. Older sibling bird lets go of the seed and stomps away and peers out the family tree he holds to witness a human family uh, in a house laughing and smiling. The two siblings sharing the last piece of pie. Older sibling bird realizes he loves uh, the little bird family as much as the people in the house love each other. Older sibling bird softens voice with a contemplative and understanding tone. If they can love and share with each other, we can too. Every day, but especially today. It's Thanksgiving. Narrator. Matter of fact, but kind. And plays on the rhyme in the tagline. Winter's approach bird seed. Made with care. The birds will share in preparation for winter's approach. Ah the holiday season it's 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 already here um it comes earlier and earlier every year i'm surprised we weren't having christmas commercials in august but if you're into voiceover work and you're already working you're probably already doing these types of scripts and i'm hoping to be doing these very soon because we haven't hit that holiday season yet but we will be soon and everybody's got their got their marketing game ready to go um I thought that the scripts were were a good test of both being less of just a a word spitter <laughs> like I can be sometimes and actually put some feeling behind it you know some warm feeling that first script with the with the watch company you know um really projecting that time time is so valuable and this is the season that you spend the time with your family and friends um, I thought that was great. And I thought it was a great way to really judge, okay, can I be touchy feely with my voice? Um, I liked the script where it was the birds, um, because you knew it was animated and you knew it was talking birds. So you could be a little silly with their voices. And, um, that's one thing that I hope to work toward later is to do some character, some character voices, um, I don't know if any of those voices are winning awards or winning any fans, but you've got to be able to do do any kind of voice, really. Had it been monsters doing that, I would have tried to do monster voices, but they were birds, so that's what I did. But it was fun, and it was a good exercise in changing your voice between lines because, you know, you may not have the kind of direction I had there and just have a little name that says Papa Bird, Mama Bird. And especially if you're doing a if you're doing a dub, yeah, that could be difficult. But fortunately, technology allows us to take multiple takes. But it was nice to practice multiple uh, multiple uh, voices. And then uh, we had the script that was like the mock commercial. I call it the SNL the SNL skit. Um, it's a funny concept, and if I saw it, I would absolutely love it. And and I would wonder why I never had an idea that good. Um, but it's one of those scripts that you're going to need to read a few times and maybe take more multiple takes uh, to make sure that you've got the right um, the right persona for what they're looking for. Um, we read some scripts 
in previous episodes where you had to read through it a few times to make sure you had the right the right feel and the right tone. I think we got through it two or three times there and um, still didn't feel quite right, but we were getting closer. So holiday scripts, now it just gets me in the mood to go Christmas shopping for myself because I'm selfish and no, not really. <laughs> All right, so that's it for this workout Wednesday. Before you go holiday shopping, please follow us on all of these social media outlets, even the ones that I don't have listed on the screen. Follow us there. Create the profile for me and then follow it. <laughs> no, don't do that. Well, I guess you could. I mean, there's nothing stopping you really. But don't. Let me create it and then follow me. You just tell me which one you want to follow me on. So before I turn that into a five-minute story, I'm Josh for 625 Media and from the Attic. Thanks for joining us this week. I am going to make sure my snow shovel is in working order because now I'm afraid it's going to snow. I'll see you later.